going on guys your boy case parky so tonight i have my veto pro pack this is a tech pack this is a monster of a backpack if you guys are trying to get a backpack the best quality you guys have to go with veto pro pack for sure best quality also it's everything you guys want from tools to power tools anything i recently got this bag and i haven't had a chance to show it to you guys so hopefully tonight i'll bring it inside and show you guys what i carry in here i got the Vito 2XL in order to take it to the residential jobs because usually before I was taking my Milwaukee backpack and that one was going from my commercial to the residential jobs and it was a hassle because I would have to get all the tools from the commercial side and then just throw them on the side where I wouldn't need them and it wasn't really working out therefore I got this Vito Pro Pack the tech pack and also the 2XL and this one I'll be keeping it on the job site I love this backpack and like you guys can see I kind of put it on a crate for the Milwaukee therefore wherever I go it's not gonna fall or anything like that I have seen a few videos where people put those foot for the pack out on the Vito Pro Pack but at the moment that's not a, something I want to do and over here I brought the Milwaukee backpack out. This Milwaukee backpack, I had it since day one. I was an apprentice, I think on my second year is where I went ahead and bought this backpack. It's a very good backpack if you guys are starting off, of course. Um, it's affordable or anything like that, it fits all your tools. I had this one for a while, but if I put it sideways, you guys see how it kind of leans a little. Now imagine if it has a lot of tools, power tools and all those things. This backpack gets to be something like that. It got to the point where I had it on my material cart and it even fell off my material cart into a dirty commercial floor, you know, full of drywall and everything else can think of. So that's one of the things that started bugging me with this backpack. I would have it in a crate as well with the Milwaukee pack out, but I decided to kind of Put it on the side for now not really using it at the moment i have the veto to excel the tech pack and hopefully i'll find a use of this one if not i'll just let it go and pass it to someone else us as construction workers are always put in different environments whether we work inside outside in the rain if you guys are doing residential commercial it doesn't matter their environment is always changing and we all know that there's always certain spots that we cannot get to even with our pack outs imagine if you have to go work in the roof or in a certain room where there's no elevator so the fact that you get a backpack or any of the bags just to put your hands with power tools it makes it very convenient for you guys to get to where you guys have to work so this is why I'm like having a backpack with me all the time if it's in the job site or out of the job site where I keep my hand tools. I mostly keep my hand tools in here. Therefore, I don't have them all spread out or just everywhere in my pack out. So in here, I'll just keep my hand tools and I'll keep the power tools inside my pack out. I'm doing new commercial and there's also deck work that's going on at the moment. So I will keep the, my hand tools that I use the most for roughing, anything like that. And I will also keep tools for deck work. I'll take it inside and show you guys what I got. All right guys, so pretty much this is what it looks like without any tools, the front of the backpack. Um, as you guys can see, it has pretty deep pockets, pretty stretchy as well. These don't stretch as much. There you go, you have some rings right here. And I will show you guys what it looks pretty much as I throw my tools in here. So the way I have it right now, I have all my Weeha tools in the front, kind of like on this side, all the bits that I need. So Weeha, I'll also have the other ones that I've had on my back or on my backpack. I'll just put these in here. Oh, wait. I also have extension bits. I have one by Bosch and also Milwaukee. I have the small Klein screwdriver. Probably throw it here on the side. Screwdrivers, screwdrivers for Wera. I have all these for probably like terminations. I have the Phillips flathead and also the number two. I keep those on the side. The Klein beater. I've had this for a while. I don't know, probably like three, four years. You guys can see I've used a beater. Also, I got the 14 in one. 
It's another one. Like Cobras 180. These are super handy, whatever you guys are doing. Like I said on my previous video, the 180s are the go-to. Have the Twin Force, Nipix. Also have the Needle Nose. Cable cutters, my Nipix as well. Very short. The bolt cutters by Nipix. These will cut through anything. And if we have any bolts, any screws coming out of our boxes on the decks, these really come in handy to cut like through anything. Long needle nose. These also, even though I have these needle nose, these really come in handy as well for those tight spots that we can't get into. I've used these a couple times, especially when I was doing decks. You know, some boxes, PVC, whatever it is, Smurf that I couldn't get into. Trying to take off the tape or things like that, I'll just use these needle nose and that will help me out a lot. Flute tester, probably put it on the side. Got a level. My Klein, my Stanley knife as well. So also a little stubby by Milwaukee. Extension bed also. I got this by Malco headset. It's pretty nice. I use this magnet. I was using this a lot to do fixtures. It's the quarter inch and the five sixteenths as well. Uh, anything like that. Pretty nice that this, it's like see-through so you know what you're carrying. Magnet as well, just keep it in there. I got all these drill bits too, from 632, 832, and 1032. These are really handy too. I got my level by Klein, digital level. Because we're bending pipe, this awesome level. Also keep that in there, in the back. Klein, this one has a thinner shaft. You have this blue tape. Also the Cobras. Like I said on my last video, if you guys did not see it, I mentioned how I used to have this Cobra. It was the 250 that came with the 180. So I had these two since like day one. I think they were like my second Nipix purchase. And I let one of my coworkers borrow the 250s. And what do you know? He loses them. So I didn't have these for a while and I recently purchased these two. That were the other ones that I had with the other grip, I can put them on the 2XL and then I'll just keep these in here. So awesome pliers by Nipix as well. So 90 bit by Milwaukee. This is super handy when getting to those tight spots. You always need a 90 bit. You got level, three inch level by Stabula. This is super handy as well for those tight spots. I always use this when bending 90s. Also installing some 4S boxes, 5S boxes. Like I said, I love that it has a clip. One thing that the Milwaukee one didn't have, so this comes really handy as well. And for this one, you can probably clip it here. Keep this bag open for now. Then you got the Nut Driver by Deal. Uh, we went to Virginia and it's funny because like a lot of people didn't know what this was. Uh, this was super handy, like even on a Saturday we went and knocked out like 54 lights between like six guys. This is super handy when twisting your wire nets, comes super handy, makes you work faster. But one thing, don't overdo it. I know a lot of apprentices too, like get this tool, they get too excited and then they overdo their wires. Next thing you know, they're all coiled up, just like a braid. That's no bueno. So what I do is just pre-twist, put the wire nut in, twist the wire nut, you know, get that splice nice and tight. And that's about it. That's all you need. So this is always on my bags as well. I put it here. So you guys see it's starting to get pretty heavy. I'll just clip it. There you go. Let's see you guys how it holds the weight. Awesome. Now I got this paddle bit by Diablo. If you guys need paddle bits, whole sauce, anything by Diablo. Diablo is the way to go. Awesome brand, super sharp, cuts through anything. If I put this in here, got my knife by Client Tools. If I have to strip some wires if I need to. Awesome. I love how it has like a little round, you know, get to cut through those wires, go around them. Pretty nice knife. Probably just put it right here. There you go. Just clip it in. Sharpie. I have this fat Sharpie that I got. Just have it in here, just in case. Also, by Milwaukee again. If it's on Apex, it's probably Milwaukee, what I'm using. For example, this Reamer by Milwaukee and also has a bit. If I'm doing conduit, 
I'm for sure throwing this on my backs. Put it on my impact and put a Phillips because that way just dream the conduit. And that way when I put the connector, it already has a Phillips. It's a pretty good reamer. It doesn't overdo it. Also, you know, a bed, whatever you need. You put a number two or also just a square bit, super handy. Also, like I mentioned, this for the impact is awesome. Just in, in case you need to knock out your boxes. And this pen light by Milwaukee. Pretty bright, put it for those tight spaces. I always carry this one as well. Light, clip it in there. Also bits, if I need them, they'll be here. So they don't fall out, we'll sip it. That's it. This Pika Pencil. I said first time I purchased a Pika Pencil and, and this Pika Pencil has not came off my bags. It's really handy, you can just Clip it to your bags and just take out the pencil whenever you need it. It has the little lead that you can just push back. There you go. And it's very visible as well, wherever you use it. If it's drywall, concrete, uh, wood, very visible as well. What else? Oh, almost forgot the two number ones. So I got the Nipix strippers. They sent me these strippers as well. They're awesome strippers. I just got used to using them. They got the 832 and 632. You can cut those bolts. Also, for bigger wire right here, you can cut MC. It's very sharp. It goes from 12 to 20, and it has a nice needle nose. Love these. It's a string for me. Look. Comes with a little string as well. Awesome when doing makeup. And next, I have my red Nipix linements. This, I love these linements. The fact that they're already super broken into. You see this finish right here also? Like, I love that when pulling metal fish shapes, it doesn't damage the fish shapes. And that's what I was trying to mention on my other video about the other linements because we on new construction, new commercial, at least, we use a lot of the metal fish shapes. So the fact that it has this finish, it won't damage the fish shape or at least bend it. These linements are pretty sharp as well. I use these all the time, hammer, whatever you want to call it. Also, when I'm doing my splices, as a bigger head, that way I get to grab all the wires. If it's three, four, number 12s, number 10s, you name it, these are my go-to as well. Another screwdriver that I love, it's this Klein Torpedo, or whatever you want to call it, just for doing trim. If I'm doing trim, it's all in devices and start in place, I'm most likely gonna throw this on my backs. Super easy, you put it like this on whatever you're doing and take out the plate because that way if you use your impact, then you have a chance to break in that plate when installing it. So it's nice to have a screwdriver, you're doing it nice and quick. I recently as well got these strippers, repurchased these. These are the dual Klein strippers. I had these a while back and walking to the job site, they fell out of my bags. So I don't know who found them. They never returned them, obviously. But these, I got really used to using these when doing a lot of trim. You have a lot of wires coming out of your boxes. It makes it nice and quick. Just put number 12s and number 14s. It also has one for number 10. So that way I just grab my number 12, strip two at the same time. It's spring loaded, so you know, it's nice to have these as well. And I can put these here. Very spacious. I can either put them backwards, kind of like you see what you're carrying and it's easier to see. So I already had this back set up, but coming back from Virginia, I kind of like took everything out and I kind of forgot the setup that I had, but it was looking something like this. Had this light by Milwaukee. It's also great, very bright, magnetic, awesome light, rechargeable, so. That goes in there. So there's just so many options when you have this bag. I'm not trying to overload it. Right now it has all the tools that I will be having on my Occidental bags. All the tools that I carry on my Occidentals on my bags, they're here. If it's everything perfect, it doesn't look very crowded. I have a measuring tape on the side. I could put some glasses on the side. My fluke, all those bits, I'll probably put them back on my back. That way I don't lose them. One thing that I like about this bag is the fact how big the holes are on the, on the zippers. You guys can see, 
and I just took this back to the East Coast. So it's it was really easy to for me just put a lock if you don't want people like peeking in. Just went like this, went right through, and boom, you lock your backpack. That way nobody can get in there or like peeking around, you lose your stuff. I know that's a big thing in the big job sites, at least for us. And one thing that I don't like when people are just peeking through your things or borrowing things. Like I said, I've lost a few tools before, so I don't like that happening often. If I'm working kind of far from where I'm keeping my backpack, I'll definitely throw in a lock. That way I don't have to worry about somebody walking by and just grabbing whatever they want. So now I'll show you guys the back of the backpack. This is really nice. As you guys can see, these are very thick for you to carry it. For sure, they're not gonna rip. Also, that's for a little clip right here. If you guys wanna clip it together, and then just clip it for wherever you're carrying it. Which is awesome. It's also really padded right here. So whenever you guys are carrying something, the pads here are amazing for your back. Same thing with the loops. And in here, comes with a hook that most of the Beetle Pro Packs come with. A little hook for wherever you're working on the lift, anything like that. You can just hang your back if you don't want it to just be on the floor or whatever. You know, this is a really nice feature that most of them have. You can just hide it in there, just like that. Then it comes with this metal clip. That way this stays secure, like it would just open. That way, if you just want to close it, you just clip it back. It comes with some leather right here. Great look, love it. You unclip it, there you go. So now, let me show you guys what I'm here. These roto splits are by CTEC CO. So I've had these roto splits since I started my apprenticeship. That was like four or five years ago. You guys can see I put some tape because this part kept falling off. So I had this roto splits for a while, just working with MC, like I said. This bag is only for the commercial job site. If I need roto splits working a lot with MC, I'll for sure grab these. These are my go-to. I wanted to make sure that I had the right tools. Just in case I go to the decks, I'll obviously take my deck bags and also have my deck tools just in case they call me and I can help the guys out. Some of the deck tools I use, I had to go with Klein. So these dikes, you know, they have the little handle for when you're cutting, where you push it, they're pretty long. I've used these before when I was doing decks on the high rise. These are pretty sharp. They're pretty nice. So these are great when you're working with rebar. Also with tie wire, so tying anything like the head, it's like spring loaded as well. I got really comfortable with using these, especially on the decks or when I was doing underground, just tying conduits or anything like that. I love these for that type of work. I will also use my beater, this Milwaukee beater or flathead. I was using it on the decks before. It's pretty beat up. Perhaps this when doing layout, because that way you don't have to kneel all the way down to screw your boxes into the deck. I also threw in extra levels. These are by Capro. They sent it to me a while back, so I figured I'd just throw them in there just in case I need them for the decks. Milwaukee Ratchet Screwdriver. I like the fact that this has a lot of bits, so if I'm going on the decks, I don't want to be carrying bits or anything like that, like I would on my Occidental leather bags. So if I'm just carrying my impact, I could just switch the bed, whatever I need. And you know, it's nice and easy. And there you go, I'll just have this just in case. I also have my Klein cable cutters. You guys can see they're pretty rusty. I was using them on the decks. I will cut like the 10 power and things like that. These have lasted me a while as well. Compared to the Nipex, I think these are sharp as well. A longer leverage right here, which makes it kind of easier to cut the wires. I have some tank snips, new commercial. We're always working with metal studs. And having to cut metal, it's always something you're gonna bump into. It's Milwaukee straight tank snips. I just throw this wrench just in case. I mean, honestly, I have more wrenches in different bags, not in my backpack, but I figure if it's just for my backpack, just in case I need one, I have to go. I always have my Cobras or anything like that. It's rare if I need a wrench, but it's nice to just have one in there. This client headset, I like the fact that it comes with a half inch. It's one of the reasons I purchased it. Like not many of them come with a half inch. But uh, this is nice for doing terminations, things like that. You put it into the lugs. It's nice that this one comes with a lot of different bits. I got this by Southwire. It's great to marking out your punch out holes. 
has a little trick to it. So if you guys want to know more about it, I know there's a few videos on YouTube on how to use this tool, but it's awesome for when you're having different condos, different sizes, or if they're just together, you make a really nice layout. If you guys are drilling a lot of holes, you guys just punch it out, start them out, and then just use your drill. I recently purchased this. It's the Duramax Chalk Shot. And if you guys have heard about this, this is super great. When you guys are in boxes where your pencil can read, you guys just put this in the hole, whatever, and then just shoot out a paint that will mark it for you. That way you're not struggling to get your pencil and those tight spots that you can't get into. I got the Crescent insulated bit for impact driver. It's really nice if you don't have the insulated bits. You can just use this instead, put your bit, and that way it just stays insulated. Oh, it's really nice. You guys should get one of these if you guys don't have one or don't have insulated screwdrivers. This is perfect. Like I said, if I'm going to be doing decks, I also want to have some bits just in case I need to throw them on my other bags. So here's a Phyllis by Milwaukee. This is by Racketeers, one of the double sided with the square and the Phillips. Ratchet screwdriver by Klein. It comes with different bits. They're all right here. You can put bits, like you guys can see, it comes with this little setup. Throwing a charger by Milwaukee for the M12. We're using a lot of Smurf. And I threw in two of the Smurf cutters that I had in my garage because I know being on the decks, either way, I might lose one just in case. But once I get to the job site, I'm gonna throw these on the game box. Probably just keep one on my deck bags as well. So uh, as far as right now, I just have those on the bottom. Very stretchy pockets as well. Here, I keep some blades for the Klein knife and some Klein I like the luck nut ratchets. I only have the one inch and the three quarter. I lost a half inch. I don't know where I left it. I still haven't purchased it. So for now, I just have these two in there. It's nice to just have them in there, especially when working with three quarter and one inch all the time. And for here, I don't have much. I just have chargers. You guys can see it. I have a little box or cell phone for household. I have a charger USB for Milwaukee. Also, one of the things that I did going to Virginia, Apple trackers, putting a lot of money into the tools that I use all the time. Also that I travel with my bag. I ended up purchasing a few of these. I might know where my Beetle is at all times. I would recommend getting some by Apple. There you guys have it guys. Beetle Pro Pack, Tech Pack. Have my glasses right here, my safe style. Make sure you guys check my link and my link tree. I have all the codes for that as well. My gloves, so you guys get to see and kind of get an idea of what I keep in my Beetle Pro Pack, the high vis backpack. The Beetle makes one of the best products out there. So if you guys are looking into an awesome backpack, if you guys are service, residential, commercial, any industry, high voltage, Beetle is the way to go. Make sure you guys check them out. Check out their website, check out their Instagram. Make sure you guys give them a shout out. Thank you guys for watching.